Hey guys, and welcome to Panzer Dragoon. And this is one of the most beautiful games ever created and put out on the Sega Saturn. It's generally a beautiful game, the soundtrack, oh my god. It it kind of reminds me of Shadow of the Colossus, the soundtrack. I don't know why, it really does. It is something literally pulled straight from either an anime or a manga or something. It's absolutely beautiful. I was getting so into this when I was recording this footage. It's absolutely fantastic. The graphics are really nice in this game as well. Obviously they're a bit rudimental by today's standards, but back in the day these were absolutely glorious. I'd never seen anything like this. Bye. <laughs> 
it goes for a lot, a lot of money on eBay. Panzer Dragoon. I had the first one. I never traded it in when I had my original Sega Saturn. I never got rid of it. I always kept it. It was the second one I never had, and I didn't have the Panzer Dragoon Saga one either. Um, I had to get those off eBay. But upon looking at Panzer Dragoon 1 on eBay, I was seeing them go for ridiculous prices like £38.40, and some were even like near the hundreds. I was just thinking, wow, everyone is literally going crazy for this game. And I have it. Um, more so to the fact that when I had to track down the second one, I was seeing a very similar pattern. I didn't get messed over with the um, prices. I saw one which was tagged $11.99 as a starting bid. I literally put a penny on it and I prayed to God no one sniper bidded it off me. And I was in that lucky few. Now when it came down to Panzer Dragoon Saga, I saw the ridiculous pricing of buy it now prices and I could not find a, 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 just a bid or an auction one. Um, so I had a good look round, and because I have an action replay card for my Sega Saturn anyway, I managed to get that on a Japanese import for around £30, which wasn't that bad, but at least I've got it and I can still play it, and I record it and share it with you guys. But the pricing of these games is ridiculous, but at the same time I was thinking, is it ridiculous? Because this game is genuinely a thing of beauty. I'm, I'm so in awe of it, even now, when I play it now, it's still a really immersive and beautiful game. And I think the main beauty of it is the open and vastness of the levels. And obviously, it's a bit like an on-rail shooter. It's a bit like Star Fox or something like that. But I mean, I just thought this game was absolutely beautiful when I first started playing it. This is definitely one of the best games ever created for the Sega Saturn. And I, I hands down think it's probably the best. To be honest, Sega were on really with a winner with this game. It was just, it's just, I, I can't really say anything good, of, like, you know, I can't put it into words. I cannot formulate the grammatical expectations to talk about this game. It's just so good. It's one of those games that you really need to play and experience for yourself because you'll just get so into it. Even the cutscenes, the cutscenes are absolutely fantastic. That's the reason why this video is going to be exceptionally long. I'm already going to say sorry for that, but unfortunately I haven't played it in a very long time, and when I do get to the end, I literally nearly kill the boss, and I'm a bit of an idiot, and I die. But that's not the point. I was thinking of doing a whole complete playthrough of this for my YouTube channel, because upon, well, playing it again, I just remembered how much I enjoy it, and how much I love it. It's one of those games that you can always come back to and replay, a bit like Truxton, because it is effectively just like a spaceship shooter, essentially. 
Or, if anything, if you had to compare it to something, you'd compare it to Star Fox, but obviously you're on a dragon, shooting other dragons and things, but it's really a standout game, along with its sequels as well, which I will get to eventually on reviewing them. Sometimes I wonder, is it better than Truxton? And then I remember that Truxton can never be beaten. But would I recommend you getting a copy of Panzer Dragoon for your Sega Saturn? Yes. Oh my god, yes. There is literally nothing in this world that could stop me from telling you to get a copy. And there shouldn't be anything in this world stopping you from getting a copy. Other than the price, but I can wholeheartedly tell you now that the game is worth it. Because the music, the gameplay, everything that is immersive about it, it just really suckers you into that world. I usually say, or of recent I've been saying, that you should kick back and enjoy the game for a beer. Panzer Dragoon, you kick back and you enjoy several beers. So yeah, definitely get yourself a copy of Panzer Dragoon for the Sega Saturn, because it is an awesome game. What could possibly go wrong?